Well, you look at who won the TOCs from the middle 70s on, you can tell the OAL was the, 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 the league around here. The OAL was a tough group of schools. They all had star players. The OAL was the class of the area. Uh, they had the most rabid fans. The OAL is the premier league in Northern California. I mean, it hands down. The intensity level was, was real, real thick. Unless you were there, you cannot believe the experience when the place was packed at Laney. And it was always sold out, standing room only. And people were outside waiting, hoping to get in, but there was no more room. OAL basketball is like a murderer's row and you learn to be tough or you just get off the court. You, you talk about, you know, every team had real All-Americans, meaning, I mean real All-Americans. Wolf Perry, in those days in the 70s, he was like the All-American that you can see up front and just watch him play. Wolf Perry was one of those guys that remind me of the, the next one to go to the Warriors. And Northern Doc Shavers. Northern Doc Shavers was the biggest, roughest, toughest, meanest ball player you'd ever want to meet. And anyone who ever guarded him is probably missing teeth or, you know, has been reduced in their courage. See, back then, you had to have game, all around game. And when they dunked before the games, it, it, it just set you afire. And Castlemont had boys. Steve Mo, man, the boy was sweet. Call him Momo. He used to come down shaking and baking like magic in the boys, you know. Donnie Martin, you know, just had that vertical jump shot. I mean, it would, he looked so sweet when he let, let it release out of his hands. Cliff Robinson. He had, he had the headband with the perm on. Being 6'9", 6'10", you know, with that turnaround jump shot. Could nobody stop him. Could have gotten drafted right out of high school. Watching them weave as they, it was like a ballet. It's like a dance watching them going down the court. It's like, boom, they're gone. It's like they were right at the other end of the court. Nobody could stop them. They were un, like the untouchables. Fremont, oh man, they had players, man, you know. Phil Bonner, 6'7", I mean, he could move, jump, handle. He had the sweet jumper from the corner. And Fremont had a great team. Lester Connors was the sixth man. He was on the bench. Ten-year man in the NBA, and he sits on my bench. Lester Connors came off the bench and killed us twice. Connor was playing forward at that time, so I had seven really, really, really top-flight basketball players. They won the TOC in 77. You know, they were always competitive, always had great players. The uh, 1976 Castlemont team was an awesome team. Grissom and um, Seals and, and Robinson were juniors. My favorite was to watch um, Donnie Martin, Steve Moore, and Gary McCoy. That three guard offense was the most exciting thing that I could ever imagine. Coach S, Shigamasu, if, if, if people really seen Castlemont play back then, you know, his personality showed through his players. They played with a lot of intensity, man, and, and they played with a lot of soul. That was a team we played four times and uh, went and lost three. <laughs> they beat us in the Richmond tournament. We split in the OAL, and uh, they beat us in the playoff game. Then we were invited to go to the, to the tournament anyway, but unseated, of course. We drew Balboa. Balboa had a very, very good team, the best Balboa team they ever had. Francois Wise, we couldn't handle him. Sugar Matsu had seals guarding Francois, not, not, uh, not Robinson, because he was afraid Robinson would fall out, uh, and uh, probably would have, and seals were very, very quick. They had an exceptional team, and uh, Sugar did a great job on, on that game. 